MIB International is the latest in the series of Men in Black films and the fourth installment into this franchise. If you want to see this movie, if you are a fan of the MIB series, then I would say go and watch it. If you aren't, if you don't like B movies, which is what the MIB films are, you probably aren't going to enjoy this. Save your money. Go see something else. For me, this is a fun film. There's a lot of action, energy, um, a really predictable plot, but again, B movie, not the best plots in the world. So I'm not gonna really fault it there. It's just a product of what style of film it is. Honestly, I would recommend this solely on the fact that if you want to see a bunch of creative aliens, which that's something that MIB franchise has always done really well, there are a couple of nods to uh, like the fir um, other MIB films, uh, especially the first one, where it has the whole uh, J saving the world with K thing as a picture, and then it um, shows a picture of uh, H and T saving the world as shown in the very beginning of the picture. Yeah, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Yeah, H is an agent and he has saved the world. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I mean, K had done the same thing in his time too. It's not like that wasn't a surprise. To expand on what I said about the predictable plot, yeah, it is one of the most predictable film plots I've seen in a while. It literally starts off and I'm like, okay, well, I can see how this is going to go. And that's the road we're going down. All right then. Um, so if you don't like predictability, don't, again, I'm gonna keep going back to this. The MIB franchise are B-movies. They are not supposed to be taken that seriously. They are fun, dumb, you know what, popcorn films. They're popcorn films. That's how I've always seen them. I don't see them as anything else. I can't see them as anything else. So for me, I can't be super freaking harsh on this because it's not really anything other than a B-movie and it's not like it's trying to be. So, you know, I can't fault it for not having the best plot, and honestly, it doesn't have to. It's fun, it's entertaining, and that's all I wanted from this film. Yeah, so I would say, for me, I would recommend this film, solely on the fact that it's MIB, and it's a B film, and I love those. If you don't like that, I wouldn't recommend going and seeing it. For me, this film rolled a 14. Highly entertaining to someone who enjoys the MIB series and likes creative alien crap like I do, but not high enough that it doesn't warrant, unless you really like this franchise like I do, you probably aren't going to get really any enjoyment out of it. So that's all that I have for now, guys. As always, have a great day. Peace out.